To assess the medial elbow, if we palpate the medial epicondyle, all we need to do is put one side of the probe onto the medial epicondyle. Now, a nice little tip to remember is that if you point the, this end of the probe towards the little finger, we should see a nice image of the ulnar collateral ligament. You can also see the joint underneath the ligament, and we can do a valgus stress test to assess it in a dynamic uh, stability. So as we apply some valgus stress, there should be very, very minimal opening up of that joint, as we can see here. If we then move this side of the probe up towards the thumb, so we need to fishtail the probe, keeping this end of the probe still, then we can see the common flexor tendon coming through the middle of the muscle belly and attaching, it's got a very short um, tendon attachment, unlike the common extensor tendon, onto the medial epicondyle. And you can see the intramuscular tendon of the common flexor tendon and the musculature there. To assess the ulnar nerve, the most simplest way of doing it is to find the medial epicondyle again and the olecranon and put the probe across the two. And what you can see on the left hand side is the epicondyle with the ligament over the top and you can also see the ulnar nerve. On the right hand side you can see the olecranon and the joint. To assess the ulnar nerve we can do this dynamically. We can just move the elbow and it's best for the operator to move uh, the patient and you can just move them into flexion and extension, particularly as you move them into flexion. Sometimes that nerve will ride up on what we would call the mountain, which is the medial epicondyle. And it's really important to ensure that medial epicondyle doesn't move to fully assess whether the nerve subluxes over the bone. You can also follow the nerve further up. So you can see the nerve next to triceps there but also as we go into the groove and out the other side we can see that the ulnar nerve actually sits nicely in the two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris.